part of the 2017 Levant's first generation. The Levant was Maserati's first SUV, and it was the only Maserati SUV you could buy for most of its lifespan. When the brand new Maserati Greckel from 2023 debuted this year, that all changed. The Levant is the more substantial of the two options. It has a luxurious feel and is fun to drive, and the top spec Trofeo model has a powerful twin-turbo V8 engine. The Levant will remain unchanged for 2023. Performance What is the Levant's drivetrain like? The Levant puts a strong emphasis on sport, falling somewhere in the middle of luxury SUVs and fire-breathing beasts made by BMW M and Mercedes-Benz AMG. The 424 horsepower turbo V6 engine produces healthy power and sounds great while going from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5 seconds. However, the engine is a little slow to respond when driving in normal mode. The steering is direct and precise, and it responds appropriately to speed. Convenience How well padded is the Levant? We weren't impressed by the ride quality of the Levant, despite the SUV's skillfully designed cabin that lets in both good and bad noise. The Levant is agitated by small, sharp bumps even when the suspension is set to its softest setting. Although smaller drivers may find them to be a little too wide and lacking in sufficient lateral support, the front seats are supportive and comfortable. Interior, how are things inside? The Levant is easy to enter and exit. Even from the back seat, you can easily enter the cabin thanks to the door's generous openings. There is ample room in nearly every seat once inside. Even in the back, there is room for three adults, but don't let your tallest friend sit in the middle seat. Technology How is technology? The infotainment system and controls on the Levant are beginning to show signs of age. The user interface appears to be out of date in comparison to other systems found in SUVs of this price range. Although it is responsive and reasonably well laid out, some of the climate settings are hidden in submenus. That can be frustrating, especially if you enjoy utilizing smartphone integration through Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Storage How is storage doing? The Levant lacks storage space. The overall cargo space behind the second row seats is near the bottom of the class, at 20.5 cubic feet. The sharp roofline and rear window make it difficult to fit taller items, and the seats fold, but they don't fold flat. A deep center console and a little bit in front of the shifter provide ample storage space for smaller items. Fuel economy How much fuel do you use? With an EPA gauge of 16 mpg joint, the Levant is thirstier than equivalent game-centered SUVs. The EPA typically gives estimates for other luxury SUVs with 6 cylinders in the low 20s. How much is the Levant worth? The Levant's exotic Italian heritage draws you in, and its reasonable price may win you over. Although the interior materials and build quality of our test vehicle feel inferior to those of the rest, its close to $100,000 price tag is in good agreement with the majority of the class. Wildcard While the Levant isn't the most comfortable cruiser, you can't deny how much fun it can be on a twisty road. While some individuals may find the Levant's styling to be particularly aggressive and attractive, 
others may find it to be too similar to an infinity. Which Levant is suggested by? We believe that the Medina has sufficient performance and Italian flair without going overboard in price. We would definitely add the driver assistance package to the Medina for features like adaptive cruise control and a surround view camera system. Models of the Maserati Levant The 2023 Maserati Levant is a luxury performance SUV with four trim levels, Trofeo, Medina S, GT, and Medina. The GT and Medina renditions are controlled by a turbocharged V6 motor, while the Medina S and Trofeo accompany a strong turbocharged V8.